Hi, I'm Ivy, and I play Baba Sheep on the Mother Goose Club. In addition to being an actress, I'm also a babysitter, and I love singing with the kids I watch. Two of my star singers are here to sing with me today. Come on out, guys. This is Lucas, and this is Anna Grace. Hi! One of their favorite songs is The Wheels on the Bus, and in this video, we're going to show you how to sing it with hand motions. <laughs> this is a great song because so much of it repeats, which makes it easy for kids to memorize. Let's go through the song and hand motions step by step. The first verse is about the wheels. Just make motions with your hands like this. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. Another great thing about this song is that it's full of objects and actions, which teaches kids new words and phrases. The second verse is about the driver saying, move on back. Just point your thumb back like this. Kids like it when you yell a little bit. It makes it funny. Move on back. The driver on the bus goes move on back. Move on back. Move on back. The driver on the bus goes move on back. All through the town. The last verse can go two ways. If you're standing, you can go up and down like this. The people on the bus go up and down. Or, if you're sitting, you can motion your hands up and down, like this. The people on the bus go up and down. The people on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The people on the bus go up and down, all through the town. See, that was easy. This is a great song because the motions really teach what the words mean. Let's try it together. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. The driver on the bus goes move on back, move on back, move on back. The driver on the bus goes move on back, all through the town. The people on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The people on the bus go up and down, all through the town. This song has a lot more verses. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The baby on the bus goes wah, 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 wah. Wah, wah, wah. The mommy on the bus goes shh, 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 shh. You can learn additional verses by watching other Wheels on the Bus videos on our YouTube channels. Take the song for a spin with your kids and show us how it goes by hashtagging photos or videos with Mother Goose Club or tagging us right here on YouTube. The first verse is about the wheels. Let's go around, I don't know, I really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is Lucas, and this is Anna Grace. Sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. And move on back like this. <laughs> With hand motions, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so much of it repeats, which it repeats. This is Lucas, and this is, <laughs> now I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I'm saying it, right? Isn't it weird now? <laughs> Oh, that's all I had to say. Okay, just put it back with your thumb. Like, <laughs> this is Lucas, and this is Anna Grace. Hi. One of their. <laughs> Hi. I can see head shake, and I'm like, it was so, so good. <laughs> Repates. <laughs> <laughs>
It's okay if you don't have the best singing voice. Your kids will want to sing with you no matter what. Let me show you how my family sings Twinkle Twinkle, and then I'll teach you the song and show you how to do the hand motions step by step. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. We love to sing all over the house, but no matter what, we try to look at our kids while we sing. Making eye contact teaches them how to communicate and helps them to bond with you. So get that beautiful face ready because now we're gonna sing and motion the song step by step. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. There's no wrong way to sing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. You and your kids can change up the words or motions anytime. Sometimes people send us photos and videos of their show me how moments. Let's take a look at how some other families sing Twinkle. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Thank you so much to everyone who sent in clips. And keep it up because singing is so great for kids. It breaks down the sounds of words so that they can learn them better, and best of all, it helps you and your child connect. So start singing, and when you do, grab a photo or a video so that you can send it to us. We're on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and of course, YouTube. Plus, our YouTube channels have more Twinkle Action ready for you and your kids. As always, we'd love to hear from you. So type in comments below and don't forget to subscribe. Twinkle on everybody, and we'll see you soon. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. High five. <laughs> Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to be doing a read aloud with my son Lachlan of the book Dinosaur Stomp. He's excited about it and I gotta tell you I am too. Reading at home is an opportunity to explore their interest and gain a love of reading. During this series we give you tips and tricks on how to bring reading to life for you and your little ones. So let's get to it. Today's book is an adaptation of the popular Mother Goose Club song, Dinosaur Stomp. We love this one and we love to get up and get active and if you have a chance with your kids, there's some really cool dances that go along with it. Ah, so it's the moment we've been waiting for. It's Dinosaur Stomp by Harry and Sana Joe. Are you ready? Yeah, all right, let's check it out. Let's see what's going on in dinosaur land. Mary and Eep are playing dinosaurs. Did you? Dinosaurs! Oh yeah, that's right. It's time for a snack. What will they eat? What color is that? Oh. Oh yeah, nice. The Dinosaur Stomp is a great reading resource. It teaches your kids entertaining rhymes and new vocabulary through repetition and movement. What's she doing? Thinking. She is thinking, that's right. Vegetables. Did you know that some dinosaurs ate only veggies? Did you know that? Did you know that? Do you eat your greens? Yeah. You do? No. You no, we eat uh, <clears throat> broccoli. We eat broccoli, we eat, we eat a lot of kale. You eat kale? You eat your kale, most days. I don't like 
kill. Oh, well, you know what? You'll grow out of that. You gotta eat your veggies. You wanna get big, strong like a dinosaur. <laughs> All right, so. Okay. <laughs> Dinosaurs have great big feet that stomp, stomp, stomp. You know where your feet are? <laughs> there you go, yeah. That stomp, 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 that's right. Dinosaurs have great big, what are those? Teeth. Teeth. That chomp, chomp, chomp. Can you? Chomp. <laughs> yeah, there you go. As you're reading, be sure to focus on highlighting new vocabulary and rhyming words. Using a call and response method is a great way to get your kid to participate. I'm a saurus, stomp, stomp. You're a saurus, chomp, chomp. I wanna, I wanna turn into a blue one. You wanna turn into a blue one? Well then, you have to practice your chomp, chomp. Dinosaurs have great big claws. Can you show me claws? Let me see your claws. Come on, man, you gotta have claws. Hey, there you go, claws. Oh, which one? Red one. <laughs> there you go, yeah, that's right. Dinosaurs have great big jaws that munch, munch, munch. What do you like to munch on, Lachlan? Anything. Anything? Show me how you munch. <laughs> there you go, yeah. There are so many benefits to reading books at home. It helps kids learn decision making by choosing the book of the day. They have the opportunity to read at their own pace. You can dig deep, you can recognize patterns, and explore their interest. It inspires a love of reading and learning. Look at her, look at her, look at her crunch face. You make a crunch face? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, 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 munch. Oh no, don't munch me. That's not the game. If you have a chance, be sure to check out the Mother Goose Club video for Dinosaur Stomp. It'll give your kids a chance to chomp and stomp on their own a little bit, and you can incorporate some of the moves while you're reading the book. And what's that? Dinosaur. And what's that? Dancer. And what's that? Dancer. And this is the word. What do you think that word right there says? Uh, dinosaur. Yes, good job, man. You read the most important word in the book. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Chomp, yeah, just chomp, chomp them all. All, yeah, just chomp them. Yeah, yeah. The, thanks for playing dinosaurs with us. Yeah. See, that's it, you, you, you got the hang of it now. Goodbye. After you read the book the first time, ask them if they'd like to read it again. And maybe this time you can trade off on some of the speaking parts. It'll get them to be more comfortable with the material and get them to participate. Construction paper, scissors, glue stick, paper clips. I want you to help me make these hats over here. Can you, make, can you help me make these hats? Yeah. Do you have a few minutes today? I don't have a paper. Well, I'm gonna give you, would you like a paper? I like a piece of paper. We are going to be creating dinosaur hats for our book, Dinosaur Stomp. You'll take your construction paper and you're gonna hold it vertically and then you're going to cut an inch, inch and a half long pieces. These pieces will come out looking like this and these pieces will be used for your headband and for your spine. And then you'll cut it. You cut as straight as you can, okay? And it doesn't matter if, if you don't do it perfect, you just do your best, okay? Okay, so go ahead and cut your strips. I'm gonna do the same thing over here, okay? And then you're gonna take two other pieces of construction paper, and you're gonna cut them horizontally, and you're gonna get 10 strips about two inches wide, like this. Yeah, now put your fingers there. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, you like the grip? You like the grip? Yeah, see, it's different, right? Yeah, it's a whole different thing. Oh, see, now you got more control, more power. DIY crafts are obviously a lot of fun, but crafting with tools like scissors, glue, paper clips, and those types of things are an opportunity for your kids to develop their fine motor skills. Along with following directions, this activity becomes really, really good for listening and communication skills as well. But most importantly, this gives you an opportunity to spend time together and get creative. Yeah, <laughs> good, good job, dude. Daddy. You'll end up with these a uh, little bit fatter uh, strips, and these will become your spikes. And how we make those, we're gonna fold these over, and maybe about a half inch up, you wanna start cutting them into a triangle. I want you to look something. Will you inspect something for me? You know what it means to inspect? Inspect means to look at it closely and determine whether or not it's working 
Look, look, Lachlan. I'm gonna go about a half inch. Do you know how big an inch is? Do you? You do? Can you show me? Look here, bud. An inch is about this big, okay? And we're gonna do a half inch. It's about that big. Is it about this big? Well, that's a few inches. <laughs> So after you have your spike, you're going to take your spine and you're going to put these two pieces together. So we're throw a little glue right here. And then I'm gonna put this on there. Let's start up, start up here. And then you stand your spikes up. And you're gonna glue this together. Take a paper clip and that will hold it together while the glue dries. We'll do that over and over and over again 10 times. Then you're going to attach it to the front of the headband like so. And it will give you a wonderful, magical dinosaur headband. Lachlan, can you say roar? And I crown you king of the dinosaurs? Roar! Roar! That's very good. Ta da! How do you feel about that? I make this one fit your head a little bit better, but I think you look great. You feel great? You look great. <laughs> King of the dinosaurs, give me one more roar. <laughs> yes, excellent. That's all for today. We hope these videos help you incorporate reading into your everyday life. For more activities and tips on reading, be sure to check out some of our other videos. If you have any questions or suggestions, be sure to leave them in the comments or even just to let us know what reading means to you and your family. Thanks again for watching. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Hi everyone, my name is Liam. I play Eep the Mouse on the Mother Goose Club. One of my favorite rhymes is patty cake, and in this video, my friend KJ and I will show you how to do it. <laughs> rhymes and songs are super fun. They're also great for little kids, and one reason is memory. Hearing words in a rhyme makes them easier to learn and remember. We're going to do patty cake one time, then go through it line by line. You ready? Yes. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it, roll it, mark it with a B, and put it in the oven for baby and me. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. If your kids are old enough, you can do the first two lines like this. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Or for babies, you can hold their arms and do it for them. Are you ready to be a baby? Sure. <laughs> pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. For the last two lines, pretend to bake a cake. Pat it and roll it. And mark it with a B and put it in the oven for baby and me. One more time from the top. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it and roll it and mark it with a B and put it in the oven for baby and me. <laughs> Good job. Thanks! Get your kids to do motions with you, any motions, because moving along with a rhyme or music makes kids more coordinated. As you can see, patty cake is good for kids of all ages. If your baby is too young to understand the words, she can start learning the sounds and enjoy the time you spend with her. So get in there and patty cake it up. Show off your mad rhyming skills by hashtagging photos and videos with Mother Goose Club and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe for more great tips and songs. And check out Mother Goose Club's patty cake starring you know who. One reason is memory. If the mm, hearing words, hearing words in a there you go, that's it. <laughs> is good for kids of kids, kids, kids. <laughs> I love the oven, baby. I'm sorry, I okay. forgot. Could you, <laughs> could you, <laughs> one time, again, then, I'm sorry, whoa. Let me have your head. <laughs> there, no, don't turn your body. Just, just let me have your head. What's the line, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Helps them. Makes, 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 makes them, makes, makes them easier makers. to learn and remember. 
I'm sorry. I got it. I just, I just, I just get in front of the camera. I'm like, uh. Where are you supposed to look, honey? Uh, One more time from the top. Sorry. <laughs> oh, there it is. And It'll roll. roll. <laughs> Let's tell him one more time from the top. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to our series on reading at home with your kids. Today we're gonna to be reading Rock and Roll Vibe. Spending a few minutes each day with your kids reading not only gets them reading ready, but also shows them they can have a good time doing it. All right, so Eeps is, it's nap time for Lachlan. So Eep says hi, Lachlan, it's your nap time. That's not in the book, but that's just what's going on in real life. During this series, we're gonna give you tips and tricks to really bring reading to life for you and your kids. So come on, let's go. Today's book is an adaptation of the popular Mother Goose Club song, Rock and Roll By. Now this one is especially fun because my kids are familiar with the song and the music video, and now they're gonna be familiar with the words in the book. Okay guys, so today we have Rock and Roll By. Are you guys ready to read? Yeah! Yes, okay, so let's check it out. Um, before we get into it, how about this cover? It's cool, right? You know what color that is? Yeah, okay, you know what color that is? Make sure to let your kids touch the book. It gives them a sense of ownership over their learning experience. It's a great way to keep them engaged. Empower learners read more. Hi, I'm Eep. Join my friends and me as we do the robot, robot dance. dance. Oh, look, you have Eep. You see Eep? Yeah. You see Eep? What color is Eep? Blue. He's blue, look, he lives in a neighborhood with some robots. That's Eep's brother, because he doesn't have stripes. Fascinating, good attention to detail. <laughs> Kids love a chunky book that's full of color and surprises, and reading at home gives them a chance to play and discover books that they enjoy. Fill your house with books of all kinds and you'll be surprised at how quickly your kids will find books and characters and stories that they relate to and enjoy. Okay, Row Row Robot. Go, 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 go by. Oh, nice, nice pickup. And there it looks like they're gonna do the robot dance. Rock and robot, do the robot dance. Okay, I'm gonna go to the next page. Rock, rock, around the clock. Rock, rock, around, around the, the block. block. Rock and robot is fun for the whole family. It introduces lots of repetition and new vocabulary. So they're standing on top of the clock here, or like around it, but look how they did the block. See the sidewalk, and then like right there, there's like a park bench and trees, and they, they're walking and around the block. In the grass. Yeah, oh that's right, yeah, the green is the grass. Rock and, and robot, robot pop, pop into the, the beat. beat. Rock and, and robot, robot bopping, bopping down, down the street. street. Rock and robot, stopping stop for, for a treat. treat. Wait, what kind of treats are these? Ice cream! Ice cream, yo, what's your favorite color ice cream? I mean, that's your color, but favorite flavor. <laughs> Um, what do you like? Um, strawberry. I like the Jenny's water. What kind of ice cream do you like, man? Um, green. You like green ice cream, just whatever. As long as it's green, you're good to go? I guess that would be like mint chocolate chip. Well, it could be a couple of things. It could be yeah. pistachio, too, I think. It could be green apple. Or avocado. Green apple ice cream. Avocado ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> All right, kids love to get up and move, especially after reading time. They also love to be creative and put on a show. So we're gonna watch the Mother Goose Club music video for Rock and Robot, and with a little help from our friend Ivy, we're gonna learn a new dance. Hey, you guys, I have a surprise for you. Yay! Okay, so I made these crafts myself based on what you're seeing. What do you guys think we're gonna be doing today? Um, aliens or robots? Robots. We'll do aliens next time. <laughs> do you guys like these? Yeah. You actually can wear them and you can become robots beep, yourself. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> what do you think? Do I look like a robot? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Do you guys know what robots do? Can you move your body like a robot? Now what do we need? We're all dressed to be robots, now what? Music! Music, that's a really good idea. Hey, I know a robot dance. Do you guys want to learn it? Sure. You can also do a little freestyle too. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. Okay, we're gonna learn this dance. We'll learn it bit by bit. First, we're all gonna start off off. We're in the off position. Everybody turn off. And then we're gonna, we're gonna turn on all those robots all at once. And then you can freestyle like a robot. So do you have any, have some freestyle moves ready? Maybe you can do a little, a little, a little goofy. You can move your little feet like this. But when you hear rockin' robot, do the robot dance. Rockin' robot, robot. Do, do the, the robot, robot dance. dance. Can you guys do that? Rockin', rockin'. robot, do the robot dance. You wanna try it with us this time? That's okay. So 
sometimes robot his his robot's off for a little bit, but we'll we'll, we'll turn it back on, right? <laughs> and then when you hear, oh, well, we're gonna go left and right. So we're gonna walk how a robot would walk, right first. So we're gonna go rocking robot, rocking to the beat. And then we're gonna turn this way, rocking robot, hopping down the street. But we're always gonna come back to rocking robot. Do the robot dance. And then there's just gonna be a lot of times where I'm gonna go <coughs> freestyle, freestyle. Let's dance, dance let's dance. go. You're scaring me, you're a, you're a <laughs> robot. It's scaring me. Dancing helps develop muscle memory, which helps them remember the words to the song. All right, now that we've learned the dance, are you guys ready to try with music? Yeah! This it's is a really good song. This is my favorite song, Rock and Robot. Let me turn my music on. Power up! Freestyle, guys! Rockin' robot! To the robot dance! Ooh, you little robot! Rockin' robot! To the robot dance! To the right! Rockin' robot! We love a good dance party here, and this gives us an opportunity to reward the learning with some fun. One of my favorite moments was watching how fully they invested and committed to the imaginary play of being robots. They had their costumes on and they were pushing each other's buttons and flipping switches and they were responding to the prompts. I thought that was really cool to see them interact that way. Good job, everybody. Robot hug! We hope you and your family get to spend some time together reading and dancing. If you have any questions or suggestions, we'd love to hear about it in the comments. Thanks for watching. Down, boom. Power down, boom. Power down, boom. Power down, boom. <laughs> Dinosaurs have great big feet that stomp, stomp, stomp. Dinosaurs have great big teeth that chomp, chomp, chomp. Stomp, stomp, stomp. And a chomp, chomp, chomp. Stomp, stomp, stomp. And a chomp, chomp, chomp. Dinosaurs! <laughs> Hi, I'm Liam, and I play Eat the Mouse on Mother Goose Club. The Mother Goose Club is all about music. So am I, especially drums. Drumming is good for kids in a lot of ways, and you don't even need real drums to do it. I'll show you how. <laughs> this is my buddy and neighbor Keller. He comes over for jam sessions. We have a lot of ways to jam, don't we? Yeah. Can we do the one where we take turns? Sure. Tell them how we play. Liam drums the pattern and then I drum it. We do it faster and faster. Watch. Ready? I'm going to speed it up now. Crazy fast one. Awesome. Thanks. Patterns are super important for math. Drumming is a great way for kids to practice patterns because it's so fun. Another drumming activity is keeping a beat. Keeping a beat helps with talking and listening. Kids can hear and understand the rhythm of speech better if they practice keeping a beat. I'll start with an easy one. It goes like this. Now you join in. 
There you go. Now keep it steady the whole time. I'm gonna play different things over it. Very good. <laughs> My favorite thing about drumming is that you don't even need real drums to do it. Pots, pans, food containers, anything can be a drum. You can use a spoon or a pencil as a drumstick, or even just use your hand. Plus, the more kinds of sounds kids hear, the more brain connections they make. Look how the bigger ones make deeper sounds and the smaller ones make higher sounds as we play. Watch. You can join in too. Show Mother Goose Club fans your drum skills by posting photos and videos and hashtagging them Mother Goose Club. Rock and roll by subscribing and type the name of your favorite drummer in the comments below. One, two, three, four. Clickety clack, clickety clack. What's that coming down the track? A freight train, freight train coming down the track. Chugga, chugga, chugga. Hi, my name is... <laughs> <laughs> Tell them how we play. Liam, drum, Liam drums a pattern. <laughs> Tell them how we play. Liam jumps... <laughs> Another drumming activity. Another... Mm. Drumming is a great way for kids to practice patterns if they, if they, I'm gonna, wait, were you, all right, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna start with the simple one, all right? And you keep all through, or... <laughs> Yeah, so let's look at the audience and let's. A freight train. Plus, the more kids hear different kinds of sound. Keep that line. <laughs> Show Mother Goose Club fans your drumming skills by um, subs and type your comment, type your name of your favorite drummer in the comments. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> rock and roll by subscribe. <laughs>
All right. You can adapt this game to play with kids of all ages. My little one, for example, may be too young to fully understand the rules of Simon Says. So when I play with him, my focus is introducing him to new words. Simon Says, touch your ears. Yeah, good job. Simon Says, touch your nose. Yeah, good job. Simon Says, smile. Simon Says, wiggle your fingers. Simon Says, Flap your arms like a chicken. Simon says dance in place. Yeah! As you can see, my kids love to play Simon Says, and I love that they get to practice their self-regulation skills. Now we want to know how you and your kids play Simon Says. Share pictures and videos by hashtagging them Mother Goose Club. Add your stories in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to be the first to hear about new videos. Simon says, say goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, I'm Jesse. <laughs> Just in case you don't know, I'm Jesse. <laughs> Definitely use some. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Simon says, get it together. <laughs> so, the ability to. <laughs> the ability to control your behavior. <laughs> you guys are so good. Oh, you me in the face. I, I can't win. I can't win with these guys. <laughs> the ability to control your beat. <laughs> Simon says. Simon says, rub your belly. Let's try it again. <laughs> Yeah. Really good for your kids' brains? No. Really good for your kids' brains? That sounds funny. Actually, really good with, really good with their brains. So you have your kids and their brains. Touch your nose. Touch your nose, <gasps> dude. You're good. <laughs> I thought I was gonna get him on that one. When kid, wait, wait. <laughs> when, gosh, when kids learn, ow now, brown cow. To understand the rules of practice, there's ah, and share ah, and add. Too young to understand. Ah. If the command ah. Simon says, <laughs> take a bite. It's a fun. It's a fun way. Fun. Fun. Funyuns. <laughs> Welcome back everyone. In today's video, we'll be doing a read aloud to driving in my car. And then we're gonna show you a really fun, cool activity that you can do with your kids that puts a spotlight on their imagination and creativity. Stay tuned until the end. During this series, we will provide you with some tips and tricks that will give you and your kids an opportunity to improve your love of reading and include it in your everyday life. So, without further ado, let's go. Today's book is an adaptation of the popular Mother Goose Club song, Driving In My Car. My kids love to read these books. We know the songs, it helps us engage with the characters, and we love to act out the stories. Okay guys, so today we have Driving In My Car by our beloved Harry and Sana Jo. Are you guys ready to embark on this journey? Yeah! Yes! Excellent, excellent, excellent. Hello, Mary. What are you doing today? Mary is getting ready to go for a drive. First, she buckles her seatbelt. How about that? You guys know that one, right? Isla, sometimes you need to be told twice. Oh, I don't. Let's go. Let's go. Lennon, what's that say? Let's go. Yeah, <laughs> that a girl. Driving. Driving in my car. Feeling, Feeling like a star. Like Back a star. The street. You know this song. I can do it better. Do, Down do, the street in my car. Great, now do it on this page. Driving. Driving, Driving in, in my car. car. Turn, Turn the, the handlebar. Bar. Speeding, Speeding down, the down the street, street in, in my, my car. car. Daily reading engages the brain by using listening skills, imagination, and critical thinking. A little bit of reading every day will give you an opportunity to exercise all of those skills and create a love of learning for life. Hurry before it gets dark. Have a fun drive, Mary! Have a fun drive, Mary. We love you. You gotta blow kisses. 
You gonna blow kisses to Mary? Can you can you wink at Mary? Can you show us how you wink? Show us how you do it. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. When you finish a book, go back and ask your kids if they like to act it out. Daily reading can be a safe space for them to learn, play, increase their imagination, and build confidence, particularly for young readers. Ah, look, it's the page that gives us all the tips and tricks to bring this book to life. We can get active, we can talk, and we can watch the Driving In My Car video on YouTube, and we can sing the song when we read. Bringing a book to life is an activity that can inspire the love of reading for a lifetime. And playing pretend is one of the easiest things you can do. Sometimes the hardest part about playing pretend is just coming up with the concept. But you can encourage your kids to play the characters in the story or take on some of the scenarios that they read about. Driving in my car is a great example of this as it was adapted from the Mother Goose Club music video. Today, we're gonna play pretend and make our own version of the music video. Grab your speakers and turn on the music video and let your kids become the star of their own music video. Toy car, speaker, sunglasses, outfits, jewelry, all that type of stuff. Copy of a Driving In My Car book, and most importantly, imagination. Dad, I want to drive a car just like me when we die. Well, you might be a little young to drive a car, but I have a feeling if we use our imagination, we might be able to drive a car right here in the living room. Whoa! Whoa look at that! Go for it, guys. The mall. Thanks for joining us for our read aloud today. If you want to make your own driving in my car music video, be sure to check out our main Mother Goose Club YouTube channel for the driving in my car music video. You can find the link for the YouTube channel in the description. Also, what are some of your favorite books to read to your kids? Leave it in the comments. Thanks again for watching. Today we're learning all about musical patterns. This is a really fun activity for your kids to get those creative juices flowing and just to have a blast. You can use any instruments you already have laying around the house or you can make your own with simple pots and pans or create your own little shaker. Today we are gonna do rhythmic patterns. Do you guys remember what patterns do? Patterns repeat things. All right. They, good job, all right. Well, we are gonna make musical patterns that repeat themselves using our instruments. Y'all ready? Yeah! We think of patterns as visual patterns, but there's so much more than that. There's also rhythmic patterns. You ready? Okay, copy mama. Good, now listen again. harder, wasn't it? When you answer what comes next in a song, a beat, or a rest, it also helps kids learn pattern recognition. Alright, you want to try it, Rach? Uh huh, it's two tenths. Good! Here we go. Okay. Can you do that? Me, All right. I don't know. Wait, I don't know. Okay, One, two, listen again. Three. I'll do it one more time. <laughs> you ready? I don't know. I do. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. This is a great way for them to learn how to put together music and also to dance and just have fun. I know you I like that. This. Okay. I'm gonna try it. Tell me if I'm doing what you did. Yes, 
Is that right? shows music and math are intertwined in our brains from an early age. From the clap, clap, clap of hands as you play patty cake with your baby, or banging on the pots and pans, they are all linked to your child's early math skills, like counting, patterning, sequencing, and spatial awareness. Well, tempo is how fast or slow something is. So we can play something really slow, like this. Or we can play something Really fast. Wait, oh. Woo! That made me want to dance. Oh, that's Good job, really buddy. Loud. Speaking of loud, is it soft or, or loud? Good. Can I do it soft? I want to like Teaching patterns through music will not only be a fun family time, but likely benefit your child's cognitive and physical abilities down the line. Playing instruments bought or homemade also helps develop smaller hand muscle movement and hand-eye coordination. This is a playful way to practice fine motor skills. I have another idea for us. How about we do some rhythmic patterns using our bodies? So Mama's gonna do one and you guys copy me, okay? Do that just three times. Okay, now we're gonna add on to Wait, it. You ready? No, I don't do it. You weren't ready? All right, I'll do it again. Ready? Just listen. Good, Silas. All right, I'm gonna add on to it. You ready? Nice. Yeah, good job. <laughs> <laughs> I like that stomp. Let's do it again. Wait, well, wait, I stole the <laughs> Here we go. One, two, three, four, and. Kids love the patterns in jump rope games, or clapping songs, or songs that rhyme like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Can we all make up our own things to this song? Sure, we can make up our own things. Or how can about I if we do it, it all together? You want to do all it? All together. Twinkle Little Star. All right, let's do it with you. You ready? Okay. Twinkle, Twinkle Little Star. Oh, I like it. No, I know how to do it. How I won. Okay, so how I wonder what you are. I like that too. All right, let's do Silas's at the beginning. You ready? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. <laughs> Good job, you guys. So the next time you get one of those songs stuck in your head, remember, these activities are laying the foundation for greater pattern recognition and creation. Your kids are developing fine motor and gross motor skills. Who knew this play was so educational? Do you guys remember these shapes? We've used them before. Uh -huh. We've made patterns with them, but now we're gonna make musical patterns with them. How do you do that? I will show you. All right, so Silas has a little square. So the yellow square Me. is a clap. clap. After clap, we're gonna do. Okay, but just one sound. One clip. Okay, flat, slap. I think I'm gonna add purple. Purple? What That's do you want that sound to be? What if we rub our hands together? See what sound it makes. That. That's a great sound. Okay, flat. flat. Good. All right, now guess what sound? So what do we repeat? Clap. Clap. Ready? Let's do it together. Clap. And good, you guys. And now I want to add this at the very end. We can do a, a new sound. A buzzing sound. Good job, guys. <laughs> yeah. All right, are you ready? Simple movement patterns are the essence of dance. 
The counts one, two, three, four are used in dance as kids learn what comes next. You can do things like one, two, three, kick like we did, or other things like left, stomp, right, stomp, and repeat, making all kinds of patterns. What parent does not want their kids to get all of their energy and wiggles out by the end of the day? This was a great way to do that. After your kids have danced around the house, maybe you have a few older children that need a bit more of a challenge. Have them either write on a piece of paper and draw out shapes, or you can cut out shapes like we did, and have each shape represent a sound. Maybe you have a budding songwriter and they want to create their own music. Have them create their own song using the shapes. So turn on the music, make your own, and let the musical patterns play. Rock out with your kids and they are going to have a blast and have no idea that they are learning math skills for way further on in life. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. Hi, I'm Ivy and I play Baba Sheep on the Mother Goose Club. We sing a lot on the show and I enjoy music in real life too. I especially love sharing music with my little cousin when she comes to visit. Music is fun and exciting, and it's an awesome way to learn. I'll show you how to make music with your kids. <laughs> the wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. <laughs> Great job! When kids, even babies, interact with music, they get better at communicating, so I get my cousin involved in any way I can. We take turns singing, strumming on the ukulele, and picking the songs to sing. The important thing is that we're doing it together. Hey, you sounded great. What do you want to sing now? Hmm. The Farmer and the Dell. That sounds like a good choice. The Farmer and the Dell, the Farmer and the Dell. Hi ho the dairy o oh, the Farmer and the Dell. The farmer takes a wife, the farmer takes a wife. Hi ho the dairy o oh, the farmer takes a wife. The wife takes a dog, the wife takes a dog. Hi ho the dairy o oh, the wife takes a dog. We sing all the time. Kids learn words better when they sing them because they're using more parts of their brain. Okay, I'm gonna sing Farmer in the Dell, and then when I get quiet, that's when you fill in the word, okay? Got it. You think you can do that? Like What's wife, dog, cat. Ah. Yeah. The Farmer in the, the Dell. The Farmer in the, the, farmer in the Dell. Hi ho the dairy oh, the Farmer in the Dell. The Farmer takes a wife. The Farmer takes a wife. Hi ho the dairy oh, the Farmer takes a wife. Our jam session wouldn't be complete without a dance party. Dancing is a great brain booster, and plus, kids love to do it. When kids move, it wakes up parts of their brain used for learning. When they move side to side and up and down, it gets their brains ready for the patterns of reading. When you show us how your family sings, you inspire other parents to try it too. Help families by recording your musical moments and posting them with hashtag Mother Goose Club. We can make more videos when you comment and subscribe, so please help us out. Hi, I'm Baba, and or I'm Ivy, and I enjoy music on, I enjoy, and I enjoy, okay. Their brain used for move, for, for move. Kitty. Kitty on the bus. The wheels on the bus. So John's like, yeah, okay, Perfect. it's fine. Uh. No, 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 it was, I loved it. It's okay. So help us out. I don't know the way. Round it. Oh, I'm sorry. Round it. The, the farmer in the Sharing songs with my little, sorry. I touched the mic and I saw him go, no. Oh, <laughs> oh, uh, 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 uh. Why? Okay. <laughs> right, like that. I enjoy things, but then I love things. <laughs> Show me I actually want one that can get us out of jail for the beginning of the piece. Oh, we're not in jail. <laughs> <laughs> Mother Goose Club Playhouse.